Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Uch back again, once again, with another discussion, speculation, rumor, theory kind of video. And today it is all about Jump Festa. Now, I kind of teased this discussion video in my last update video as far as Jump Force was concerned. But this time around, it's not just focusing on Jump Force. We're obviously here to talk about Jump Festa. Now, for those that don't know, really quick, Jump Festa is an annual manga and actually manga, manga, manga and anime exhibition, as you can see on this article that I have in front of you guys right here. And it is only held in Japan. Now, even though it's only held in Japan, um, Bandai Namco, obviously um, known to have to make a lot of the anime games that we all know and love, to name a few, obviously Jump Force, My Hero Wants Justice. They've even been in charge of like Tekken and games like that. Um, they're going to be there and they're going to be revealing and unveiling and showing off a bunch of new and uh, games that we already know at this um, exposition. So what I'm here to do today is to kind of go over the list that they've confirmed and then to go over a list of some other things anime related that I do want to bring to you guys attention so that way you guys can um, keep your eyes and ears open because after this video is released or once this video is released, um, by the time, you know, the, the you know, because we're, I, what, Japan is 13 hours ahead of Eastern time where I'm located right now. So um, the, the exposition should actually be st starting, like, or going on right now. So it's a two-day exposition. So without further ado, let's, let's uh, just dive in right, dive right into it. So I'm not going to really go over every single noted game here i'm obviously just going to make a comment or two about some of the ones that resonate with me obviously game like i don't know anything about billion road um so i have nothing to say about that but games like black clover quartet night um it says that it's going to be playable there there's gonna they're gonna there's gonna be a trailer and a stamp rally um stamp rallies are typically like something to get the folks in attendance actively going around and checking out other panels um, or other parts of Bandai or maybe they'll have like checkpoints so that way you go to a certain booth you'll get stamps and then by the end of all like you know the stamp rally you'll get like some kind of prize so that's what a stamp rally is so that's kind of cool that they're getting more people um, you know into Black Clover Quartet Nights or maybe just Black Clover in general um, and unfortunately, it's kind of it, it kind of sucks because I don't ever hear anyone ever talking about this game. Normally, people are talking about Dragon Ball Fighters, are talking about Jump Force, are talking about a little bit about One's Justice, and the rest are just kind of talking about how crappy Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker is. Um, so that that's my whole thought on that. I, I really do hope that they do something with Black Clover Quartet Nice as they get they, they show it off more and more people are more aware of it. I feel like it had a lot of bad timing because Bandai was putting all their marketing um, into Naruto sh to Boruto Shinobi Striker and they were you know pumping out all their their marketing advertising with that game and literally Black Clover Quartet Nights came out probably like a week or two after uh, Shinobi Striker. So they were pretty much like identical in release time frame. And there was no types of ad advertisement at all for Black Clover Quartet Night. So I'm hoping that the trailer maybe reveals some um, added elements, whether it be like DLC storylines or what have you, uh, playable characters. Because I do know that the game itself plays similarly to Shinobi Striker. Um, the concept is similar. I'm not sure you know, if the gameplay itself is identical or the same. But well, I guess we're going to find out. Dragon Ball Fighters. Now, this one, okay. Now, what it says here is it's going to be playable and there's going to be a trailer. Now, what I think this is going to be, the trailer, is going to highlight Season 2 of the DLC. I really think that this is the time that they are going to say, okay, here we go. We are going to show off season two, the next year's characters that you can expect, or they might they might just confirm a season two, but they may not, you know, show off all the other characters that they'll have announced. I think that they should pull a Capcom and they should just unveil who we can expect for the remainder of 2019 to, you know, so that way fans know exactly what they're buying if they do um, have a season two planned. Um, with that being said. This is the last game 
that would f- have featured um, characters from the Dragon Ball Super Movie Broly. All of the other games that have been out, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, um, Dragon Ball Legends, Dokkan Battle, um, Xenoverse, all those games, even the card game, they have Dragon Ball Super Broly, you know, they have the new Broly, they have Gogeta, you know, they they have the direct influence from the movie. Obviously, they are going to, you know, make a ton more money if they, you know, um, if they bring a bond, if they bring in Broly and they bring in Gogeta, especially if they do it as like a combo pack. And I'll tell you this, as history shows, and this goes along, I'm going to also have to do a separate video for, you know, just to talk more about Broly because y'all know I could talk about Broly all day long. Okay, but to put it bluntly and to put it quickly, if they're trying to definitely sell the season pass, or if, if it is a season pass, or they're just trying to make money off these characters, they need to, you know, they need to go to their money machine. Okay, you stick Broly on anything, you know, merchandising wise, it will sell, guaranteed. And this is this goes this goes to show with the old Broly too, or the OG Broly. Broly was part of the first season's uh, uh, character pack. For fighters last year, or I guess you could say th- earlier this year, like that was the first, the first uh, Broly and Bardock. How cool would it be? Full come to come to come full circle. You get Broly and Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue. All right, I think that'd be hella dope. I think that's what it is. That's just my prediction. I don't know. Ex- I don't know exactly what they're gonna show. I would imagine it would be some kind of DLC. Moving right along, God Eater Three. I'm, I'm I I like the anime. I just never I never really played the, the games. I played the PS Vita uh, game like once. It was kind of fun, um, but I didn't, never finished it. So that's cool that they're getting a third one. For PS4 and PC gets they're uh, showing off a trailer. Uh, so we got of course we got Jump Force playable and trailer. So for Jump Force, um, I'm thinking they're gonna definitely gonna be showing off some more characters. Being that this is Jump Fest. This is all about Shonen Jump and, you know, the properties involved. I highly think that not only are we going to see some live gameplay footage of Asta, of Midoriya, of Trunks, of Boa, and of Renji, because those are the five most recent reveals um, as far as the G- the V-Jump goes. I I think... That they're gonna also reveal some new characters they have not revealed before, and it'll be a nice surprise. However, who who do I think though? If you're asking me, I don't know. I feel like I'm surprised it's been this deep into the speculation zone, but prior to the game's release, and we still have no JoJo representation, and that's saying a lot out of me because for those that know, I've only seen the first three episodes of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure season one. All right, from the very beginning. I think it's a pretty fun anime. You know, I'm not like too hot on it. I don't, I, you know, I know people hype it up like really, really hard or whatever. Like it's good, it's good, it's fun, it's cool, whatever. But again, just for you heard how I think I, I feel about it, and I'm still saying I'm surprised JoJo's not even in the freaking game yet. Like that's wild to me. That's wild. Um, any other franchise or series that I I would like to see? I mean. Me personally, this is me. I I am pretty sure this is an unpopular opinion, but I feel like it would be nice to see Boruto in there. I, w- I I'm not gonna lie. I would really like to see Boruto in there. Um, I would honestly like to see Bro the new Broly from Dragon Ball Super. Let Let's be real. That might be another biased opinion of mine, but hey, you know what? Is Broly can go wrong with Broly? Broly sells. Broly sells. You put Broly in anything, that John gonna sell. Why? Because he's a popular character. Simple as that. Simple as that. Anyone else? I have no idea. It could be literally be anybody because they 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 put my man Kenshiro in the game. They put you know Bleach characters in the game. They put you know Dragon Ball Naruto characters in the game. Oh, you know what? Put Madara in there. Put uh, why is there no Madara? Madara maybe some Kaguya. You know, give give me give me some villains. You know, I think I think Kaguya would be like something that not a lot of people would expect, and especially since if you look at the roster right now, there's not th- there's not too many females. And I'm sure, I'm sure people were gonna take Kage over Sakura. I'm not even gonna start that conversation. All right, so there you go. That's jump. That's that's my speculation on Jump Force. My hero wants justice. Okay, I'm actually surprised that they're gonna even have this available to show because I, I don't know if you guys have seen my real talk video on wants justice, but 
it's a shame because like you know the game had some really good good potential but i just felt like they put this game together as a mess and they 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 they, they, they kind of just put it out there and they were done with it it says here that there's gonna it's gonna be playable and there's gonna be a trailer and there's gonna be a photo corner and another stamp rally just like the the black clover quartet night. Um, the photo the photo corner is cool, you know that's fine. You do little cutesy selfies or whatever. The fact that it's playable for those that probably have not tried it, you know, they tried the 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 bustedness that the game is. Um, you know that's that, that's nice for those that in house that have never played it before. That, you know, give it a shot. I tried it out at Evo, fun game, whatever. Until you really start to play it a lot and understand like how truly broken the entire game is, not just like a few characters, but like the entire game is, and uh, and a trailer. So assuming you know, trailer normally means you know new things. So I would assume that we will potentially see some new characters, um, quite possibly some new modes. I highly doubt that. I'm probably leaning more towards characters. I feel like the way they designed this game, the way they made this game. Um, they made it in, in a sense, it, well, they made it in a way that makes me believe and feel that they are just, they would only just add characters. I don't think there's really, uh, and, and like, you know, missions or whatever, but like outside of that, there's, there's really nothing else. Like they add an arcade mode. Cool. I don't think they're going to add any other modes. Like what other modes could they possibly add? Uh, the, you know what, you know what I would like, I would like some severe balance, um, and, like oh, like an, a huge overhaul, and you know what? Put overhaul in the game. Hey, there you go, season four hype. But it, you know, but for real though, the game has needs a lot of work, and that is my opinion. And I I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way. I have friends that play this game; they feel the exact same way about me. They they feel the exact same way about the game as I do. So, if you guys have not seen my real talk video about Once Justice, you know if you want to hear me talk about that more in detail go ahead and watch that video after this one naruto de borto shinobi striker so this one they're just having a trailer no playable no no stamp rally no nothing i think this one is more dlc more characters and possibly some new modes because i know that i haven't followed this game much at all i don't even own it I have not played it outside of the beta i thought the beta was a mess because you know the game is very wonky and, you know, I can back this up by every time I, you know, I look around for anything Boruto to Naruto to Boruto, you know, all of the, the big time YouTubers and content creators there, you don't really hear much of them or they kind of gave up on the game altogether. You know, they, they want the game to be better. They want it to be more fun, more, more playable. But, you know, that's, that's kind of the, 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 the thing with a lot of anime games. And I mean, it kind of sucks, but I know like. I don't know. Like when it comes to this in particular, Naruto to Boruto, I think they really do need to um, overhaul this as well. Um, you know, with mechanics. You know, you know where are the Boruto characters? Like how? Like it's a Naruto to Boruto game, right? You know, you might as well if that it, it, at this rate, you might as well just call it Naruto Shinobi Striker, because you had Naruto Shippuden. Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, and you threw in Boruto, Sarada, and Mitsuki, didn't you? So what's the difference? You know, you might as well just call it Naruto Shinobi Striker. There's literally, what, Boruto's in the game, Sarada's in the game, Mitsuki's in the game, that's it. There is no other Boruto characters. This is barely Naruto to Boruto. It, it would feel like a more of a Naruto to Boruto game if they had a lot more Boruto characters to kind of even out the, the roster. So who knows? Maybe the trailer is revealing more Boruto characters. If you want, you know, me personally, Bandai, if you're listening, anyone's listening from Bandai, you know someone from Bandai, show them this video. Here's an idea. Why don't you go, guys, ba go back and make a Clash of Ninja game, and it's only Boruto. I mean, obviously, you could have, like, you know, 7th Hokage Naruto. You could have, like, Rogue Sasuke. You could have, like, the older versions of, like, you know, Shikamaru. Any of the the active ninjas that are you know that are old, that you know from Naruto that are still around doing stuff like like Sai, but obviously it would be a Boruto heavy based game. You got Boruto, you got Metal Lee, you got the Puppet Girl. Hopefully, uh, uh, Kuroi is that's personal favorite. I had to throw her out there. Um, you got Sarada. You got like you know some of the some of the other ninja from the other villages that we've seen. You know, like put put the the new Otsutsuki people in there. Like, come on! Like, 
and make it like Clash of Ninja, GNT, Gekito Ninja Tyson. Give me that game. I'm sure that people will pop off harder if you if you gave us a brand new Borto Clash of Ninja, Borto GNT on the Switch. Just just do it. You want some money? You want some money? Then make that game. Please do us all, all, all of us a favor. And make that game. One Piece, you guys, you guys know that I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't follow One Piece, so I have really nothing to say about this. Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission on the Switch is gonna be playable, and there's gonna be a trailer. It's already been confirmed the game is coming out in Japan in April. However, I don't know if there's gonna be an outside release, and outside being outside of Japan, you know, North America, other parts of the world. I'm hoping, I'm praying that the trailer reveals. You know, more details on the game, of course, but I want to know if this is going to be localized. That is what I'm looking for in particular. If I got to import it, I got to import it. That's fine. That's not going to stop me. I'm still going to play the game. I also do want to know if they're going to include like every single card that has ever been made within the game. Obviously, they're not going to, you know, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have you use actual cards, you know, from the arcade game for the Switch game. That'd be kind of wild if they did that. That would actually be kind of cool too. But no one has that extra money to just buy over a thousand cars worth of Dragon Ball Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Like, come on, that's that's OD. So, and then Tales of Vesperia. I know that that's a that's an RPG game. I'm, I haven't played a Tales game since like Tales of uh, Symphonia. I think it was on 360. I played the demo. <laughs> that was it. And then we got smartphone games. Smartphone games. Black Clover's getting a smartphone game. Dragon Ball Z Buchigiri Match. That is a brand new drag. Like how many, <laughs> yo? How many more Dragon Ball Z mobile games are we gonna get? Like that's OD. We already got Dokkan Battle. That's popular enough. Then they gave us Legends, popular enough. And now we got Buchigiri Match for iOS, Android. There's gonna be a trailer. There's gonna be a bonus and a photo corner. I don't know what this bonus is. That's interesting. I I do want to see how this this game even plays. You know, this is going to be a more traditional fighting game on mobile or what? Because Legends and Dokkan Battle is uh, it's kind of similar, especially with, like, you know, how the flow. I, yeah, I, I don't know. We got a Digimon Re-Arise, the trailer for that. I'm looking forward to seeing what that one's all about. Of course, we got some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, another trailer. So it's probably going to introduce whatever new features or modes that might come, new, uh, new uh, cards, if you will. We got some JoJo's games. We got two of them. Interesting. They got two games coming out. Kingdom Seven Flag. Never heard of that, John. My Hero Academia Smash Rising. That sounds like Smash Tap, which is a game that I already had. Well, it's a Japanese only game. There's a trailer. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a sequel to Smash Tap or whatever. Or I, I if, if I'm getting that game that name correctly. Hold on. Let me check. Let me freaking check. Oh, uh, wait, I'm hitting the wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it is Smash Tap. I was right. Um, So who knows? If the Smash Rising is the sequel to Smash Tap. Naruto to Boruto Ninja Voltage. So I, I'm pretty sure there's already a Ninja Voltage game. So this is probably just going to be like some Boruto update. Not, you know, not really looking forward or going to be excited for that. One Piece games. We got two One Piece games. What the hell? They release all these games in twos. Two Dragon Ball games, two JoJo games. Like, what the <laughs> Two One Piece games. And then the last but not least, we got Tokyo Ghoul Rebirth. That's dope. All right, so Tokyo Ghoul's getting... Uh, they are, I know that they've had other games on the Japanese stores. Um, but, again, okay, re reminder, this is this is a, an, an exposition in Japan. So I don't know if um a lot of this stuff is actually ever gonna you know get localized because a lot of these games stay in japan um without any kind of english translation i know that you know games like dokkan battle have you know english translations but you know they have the, the whole game in english but okay so that's all the it's all the video games it's all those all my thoughts speculation what i think all that kind of stuff about all the all the things that i pointed out this is what you guys can expect again reminder December 22nd to the 23rd at the time of this recording it is the 21st so right now their time it is like four no it's like six what is it like six seven a.m pretty soon we're gonna be seeing some you know probably like later in the evening definitely late late at night we'll probably see some news updates coming and popping up all right now to wrap up the video I'm gonna give my thoughts 
on some of the anime potential announcements. All right. Now, I pulled up Geekdom's Twitter because he made a list based on the things that are heavily rumored to be featured. Okay. As he said right here, heavily rumored. So this is not fact. This is not him spilling the beans, even though, you know, I do talk to him on the regular, but just had to make that clear. Okay. So this is going to be nice, quick, and easy. And, you know, let, let's have at it. All right. So the first and foremost, obviously, big obvious, Dragon Ball Super. Everyone's waiting for it. There's there's no chance. No, no, no. There is a very slim chance of them not mentioning anything about the new anime coming out next year. It's not even if it's a when. And when actually might be April from what I'm hearing. I don't know. That I'm not ready. Actually, I am ready. I, I ugh, ugh. like they could have been working on this for months as it is right now. So there you go. Dragon Ball Super starting us off hot. Is obviously the announcement they're gonna have is the release date on the new anime. Me personally, I would also love if they had a surprise announcement for us when it came to Dragon Ball Super and they had a sideshow as well. Because I know a lot of people have been asking for stories and animated, you know, special, I mean, not maybe not specials, but just a new series or new newer series that have um, more direction or, or they give limelight to other characters that maybe don't get as much screen time as it is. Because right now it seems like it's the Goku Vegeta show and, you know, they're not doing nothing with the kids, Goten Trunks, they're not doing nothing with Gohan. Everyone wants Gohan to, you know, reclaim his status as being like, you know, Earth's strongest fighter or whatever but you know i think i pers- i do also think that it would be really cool if they did have something like that you know where or, or if it was like an anime in another universe in within the dragon ball like you know it was like universe six see what the saiyans are doing over there universe 11 like what's the gla- what's the uh the um wow I, i'm having a huge brain fart here a freaking jiren's team the ju- the I almost call them the Justice League. <laughs> they fight for justice. But anyway, My Hero Season 4. That trailer, oh my god. We already saw, we got a little tease of overhaul. I need to see the trailer for, for, for freaking Season 4, My Hero Academia. I will pop off. Because like, I, like you guys may not already know some, definitely know, I have finally caught up with My Hero Academia manga. The manga is fire. I can't confirm season 4 and season 5 are going to be amazing. Now, for those that don't know, season 4 has already been confirmed to uh, debut in, um, in, uh, in, in the fall of next year, 2019, in October. So they're trying to make sure that they, they give it enough time, tender love and care, so that way the animation is on point. One Piece Stampede. I don't know if this is a movie. I've already stressed this enough. I I don't know anything about One Piece, guys. I'm I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Precure movie stuff. I don't know what, what this is either. So moving right along, new Haikyuu. Haikyuu season four. That's another C. That's another anime that my brother Uchi and I love. We love our sports anime. Haikyuu is one of them. Haikyuu is definitely one of them. We've been waiting. We thought season four was about to come out this year. Didn't come out. So it better come out next year. We're waiting. I hope it's a full season because they kind of gypped us with season three. Season three was literally one volleyball game. They elongated one game within, a, within 11 episodes. Insane, right? Haikyuu season four needs to happen. It needs to, and they need to give me some. They need to give me 25 episodes. And I'm not, don't, don't gyp me with 11, no, 13, 15, 15. I want 25. Give me 25. And here, last but not least, I think this is probably this right here. Oh, my God. I'll say this first. Yu Yu Hakusho. If they bring Yu Yu back, that's huge. That is huge. I think Yu Yu Hakusho fans all across the world. I'm, oh, yo, I'm, I listen to Smile Bomb like every day. That song is a banging song. But... On the topic of you know bringing this John back, Yu Yu Hakusho, that would be cool if it was a continuation or of some sort. That would be actually really really cool if they did that. 
I don't know if it would be a continuation or if they're just going to, like, you know, reanimate the entirety of it and just, like, redub it or whatever. But, but, what I want to see is the return of Bleach. Guys, I'll let you know this right now. I didn't realize after having a lot of conversations with people about how like how I felt about Bleach, how much Bleach actually meant to me. So with that being said, I'm actually going to confirm for you guys that I'm going to have a follow-up video after Jump Festa if they do make an announcement about uh, Bleach or not. I'm going to make an, a, a video specifically for Bleach called I Never Knew Bleach Meant This Much to Me. And it's going to be part of the Real Talk series. All right. I'm not going to go into it too much, but I will say this. Bleach is one of those shows that it unfortunately had a very abrupt ending for the anime and an even more abrupt anim uh, ending for the manga. And it's unfortunate that it happened. But here is what I think is going to happen. In a perfect world, I believe that, yes, they were going, they were going to bring back Bleach. They're going to say... Either one of two things. They're going to give us like Bleach Resurrection. Resurrection. All right. Where it's almost like treat like a Bleach Kai, if you will, or a Bleach Brotherhood. And they will give it that kind of treatment where they start from the beginning and they go through the entire series with no filler whatsoever. Absolutely zero filler. And they go through it. They go through it. And they even have this next idea that I have happen. And it would be even cooler if they had Tite Kubo make this announcement. Where he, you know, they, you know how they have like author's notes. Like where Akira Toriyama, like he'll leave a little, a little, a little paragraph or two to the fans. You know, thanking them and like saying like, oh, like because of it. Like, you know, giving, giving uh, the fans a little bit of a, an, a personal update. It would be amazing and a huge surprise if Tite Kubo shows up. And he himself announces that through the anime, they he will be involved with it. And he will make sure that the ending that we see in the anime differs from how it ended in the manga. It would... Oh my god. I know that that is a huge stretch. And even if he doesn't announce it. If they just make that announcement altogether. I think that that will make a lot of people just cry. I know that... You know, me personally, I know that it would be it would be amazing. And I have and I didn't even see how the manga ended. I just hear all this terrible stuff about it. And it breaks my heart. I'm not completely done with, with, with it yet, but you know, I'm I'm like on chapter five fifteen. I know there's like six sixty or six seventy chapters. So I need to I still need I really need to catch up, but like, you know, like I said, it's still nonetheless it breaks my heart that you know, it was the the ending was rushed. They 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 rushed him to end it, and he just ended it the way he ended it, however way he ended it. And it's a shame, and people you know wish that there was some kind of retcon. And I feel like this is the opportunity to do it. I mean, come on, the ble the bleach announcement in itself is definitely going to happen. They've been lining it up. They've, the stars have been aligning. They've been dropping all this merch randomly, all this clothing merchandising, like just all this bleach talk in general. Like, come on. Bleach is coming back, regardless. All right. So again, just a quick reminder: I will be making a Bleach Center video very soon, talking in detail about how much it means to me. A real talk video. I kind of give you guys like a little preview of it, but definitely look forward to the entire thing, guys. That has been my complete discussion, analysis, speculation, theory, jump festa video. If you guys stuck around this long, I appreciate you guys. You guys are the real ones. Um, and let me know what you guys think, what you guys expect, what you guys would like to see if you uh, agreed with anything that I said or if you disagreed. Let me know. Let me know. Let's have a conversation about it in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter. You guys know the drill. All the links to the support your boy are in the description as well. Take care of yourselves, guys. Have a great one. May the power protect you. And as always, I'll see y'all next time.